My friends call me Bang Bang. I want to encourage you to get out and try new things, have new adventures, try things that intimidate you. That's how you lead a full life. So, today, I'm learning how to blacksmith here at Adams Forge. There are two reasons I want to learn how to blacksmith. One, knights needed blacksmith for armor, and I always wanted to be a knight. And two, horses needed blacksmithing for shoes, and uh, I want to make horseshoes. So, here we go. Let's hope I don't burn my arm off. Protective eyewear. You're gonna get the most effectiveness out of it if your knuckles just sweep the edge of the amber. Oh, this one's good. This one's mine. First one. So proud. <laughs> oh, where? Oh, where are we? Oh, here? Oh, this is my anvil. <laughs> Have a good time here today. I mean, I'll be, everyone should be safe, but like, this is a place to have fun. Number one rule, as I was saying, assume everything is hot. I wanna set you guys up with tools real quick. So follow me out to the red box. So as you work, you'll, you'll kind of feel and, you know, get into what, what feels better for you to use. Let's get to work. Turn the gas on. We're looking for orange. That's a good heat. If I'm in the middle, with it and uh, yeah you're looking good I would just tap this section in a little okay. which will end up straightening the whole thing out and rounding that area 
then you're good to go. Woohoo! All right, looking good. Yeah! Roll, baby. Roll. Snuff like this? Yeah, you're ready. Woohoo! Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. Good right there. Beautiful. Hey! Yeah. Look at that twist. <laughs> yes. Honestly, I feel very proud of myself right now. And arrow. Thank you. Got it. Check it out. Guys, started off rough, but I kept persevering. And honestly, I'm feeling really good. Pretty soon, we're going to have a barn hook. I can make a barn hook. Dad, this is for you. And mom, told you I could do anything boy could. Also, I love you. Pushing off the edge, hitting towards myself, raising my tongue hand to close. Now I'm raising my tongue hand to present the area that I want to close up. Now I push off, I'm hitting over air. Dropping my tongue hand. Give me just a second. Okay. Slowly. What it do? <laughs> cool. Is that alright? Yeah, it looks great. Hey! My anvil, I have to work on the other one because uh, my horn is a little too robust, if you know what I mean. Well, hold on. Don't stop it. There's all different kinds of steel that people use in blacksmithing. The steel I'm working with today is called A36, and it's a mild steel that you temper in water instead of oil because it cools down all at once. If you're working with a tool steel, then you would temper it in oil because the outside, if you temper it in water, the outside cools quicker than the inside and it cracks. Stuff I know now. with this and myself. Look at that. This is my buddy Bogey. Can you wave hi? Oh yeah. Wave that way. You may have... Oh! <laughs> Finishing touches, you guys. Finishing touches. I've just gotta make this flat so it can go in a wall. Throw some wax on it. This baby's done. I heat it up. I pull it out. I straighten it up. I make my divot. I put it back in. Oh, give it time! Give it time! Just take a little, took a little brute strength. So hot, so, so hot. Oh. Hey, oh! So I can already see it starting to turn, and we want it to be perfectly straight so it hangs on a wall, so I'm gonna have to do some more twisting. But I'm getting the hang of this, and I really like it. Oh, I want to stay here all day and make more stuff. Check it! I'm so proud of myself. Check that out.
wooden mallet time. Donkey Kong. All I need are some barrels. Oh, I see. Just straighten it all. Make yeah. it Stick this down in the hole so you don't damage it. Uh-huh. And then tap right there with the wooden mallet. Yeah? Yeah, that's looking really nice. Digging it. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah, yeah. One quick thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nice, that's good. So now we're, this will slide into the wall yeah, and make it little super little. secure, yeah. So now I can heat it up and rub brass on it, right? Heat it up, brush it, okay. and then go for the brass, yeah. Okay. Nice work. Thank you. So now that my hook is pretty much done, I can heat it up, brush it off, and rub some brass on it so it looks gold and shiny. Oh, all gold air effect. See how it's making it shiny? I'm a brassy dame. Get it? You get it. Okay. Almost done. Very cool. It is very cool. So right now I'm using like floor wax on it, but if I was making a spoon or something that was gonna uh, like make food, like a hot dog fork, which I would definitely like to make one day, or a s'more stick, uh, I would use beeswax because that way it settles and it doesn't rust, but it's food solid. You know what I mean? You would want to do that with this. In and out, and out. That's it. Hang it up. Assuming it's around. We made them. That's totally cool. Both hours. We're down. Back of the hand test. I don't feel any heat. Tap, tap, tap. <gasps> Good to go. Now we just polish it up, get the extra wax off. Dope, 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 dope. Okay, you ready to see it? Big reveal. Ready? Check it out. It's got some gold on, or some brass on it, which makes the tips look gold. A little bit on the hook. Put an equipment away. So this is my collection of hammers. Let me show you which ones are German. These are. Let me show you which ones are Swiss. Those are. Let me show you which ones are English. These dumb ones. So to recap, I made a barn hook all by myself. Don't tell Aram I said that. I learned something new. I did something that intimidated me. I was the only girl in a room full of boys. So I would call this a raging success. I can't wait to take another class. So I guess there's just one thing left to say. Sorry, Mom and Dad.